The term horse was brilliant. It's about behaving like they do in the wild. It's, it's about uh, acting in a similar way. So we, we don't use uh, our voice, we just use a gesture of body language and eye contact. Okay, this is Tilly. She's a rising four Irish sport horse. We're just going to do an exercise now, which is called a join up exercise. I'm sure you've all heard of that at some point. But basically, as the alpha female, which I am, I'm allowing this horse into the pack, into my space, once she's, sh she's shown signals. <clears throat> Now those signals that she's actually showing now, a uh, communicative gesture. She wants to come close to me, but I'm not gonna let her. Not just yet. Particularly with a horse, if you stare in his eye, he's gonna become threatened. If you open up your hand, your predator hand, and open up your fingers, he's gonna be even more threatened. And if you notice this gesture I did, made him stop and come to me. Now that gesture in the wild uh, is like a young horse, what I call, they do this kind of papping gesture with the mouth. And, and that's, can I come into the pack, will you allow me in? And that was exactly what I did. I was, come on, you can come in, we, we can trust each other, I'm not gonna hurt you. Not bad. Right, so I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna turn my back to the horse. And I'm gonna cross her path. I'm not looking at her. So, a sort of figure of eight movement in front of her. She's watching me, wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to give her a bit of a chance. Good girl. Okay, those few steps are enough to say, hi, baby, we want to communicate. So, we'll give her a rub. Hello. Hello, pretty one. And it's important to pick her feet up. She's allowing you to trust with her feet. So front and back. Okay, so she's got a problem with me touching her. Oh, good girl. Well done. Well done. I've had some hairy, hairy, hairy falls over the years. Luckily never broken anything, <laughs> but um, I have no fear, absolutely no fear. And I think that's very, very important in this game because horses pick up on that. They smell it, they, they sense it, they, you know, you can, uh, you, they know straight away like any animal. Um, and once you've got, they know that, you're in complete control. Never fail. Doing a bit of head waving there. I think she's got a knot in her neck which might explain why she's slightly sharp, under tack and being ridden. When you're riding a horse, the horse's head is lowered and, and it's more in an outline, so it's using all these muscles uh, and it tightens up. You know, like the, the old gym thing I was talking about before. So, you know, lots of rubbing and massage would get that out in one session, but that's very sore. Depending on the facility you have, um, I would either come to you and work with you because it's very important that once your horse is fixed you can carry on and, and complete that level of training and be happy with that. I was working for a gentleman selling horses about the time when I left school and these horses they were actually being sent to the, to the meat man but we ended up with them to fix and sell on as riding horses and I found that um, this gentleman in particular owned the yard. His, his, his way of training a horse was very, very uh, aggressive, uh, lots of use of whips, straps, uh, and it, it always used to break my heart, um, breaking a horse's spirit enough to you know, ruin its, its trust in people. So I moved into the realm of talking to horses. I studied them whilst they were out in a pack in the fields and learned how to communicate with them. Um, I never trained with anybody, it just became natural and uh, I learned a bit about the gestures that they used, the language and that was it, I was away. Um, never looked back, absolutely fantastic, the horse will do anything for you if, if it wants to.